Welcome to Pakistan, we're Luke and Sabrina and today we are in Peshawar. This is day six of our tour of Pakistan with Manaki and we've come to this interesting city very close to the border with Afghanistan to try the unique food of Peshawar. So we're gonna have another full day of eating and exploring. It's gonna be a great one so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Pakistani food. We just stumbled upon this massive, massive pile of pulao. So this is Chana Meva pulao, which is these chickpeas. There's tons of dried fruit in there, massive chunks of beef, and then of course all the rice, and it's served right on the side of the street. We're gonna order this up for breakfast. Wow, this is huge. Eight plate, eight plate. This has to be the smallest school I've ever sat on. Check out the massive portion size of pulao we have here. And one thing he did specially for us was he beat some bone marrow out of one of the bones and served us a ton of it. Look at the chunk of bone marrow here. It is absolutely huge. So we have dried nuts, dried fruits, uh, meat, beef, and uh, lots of pulao. So let me put it down on this tiny little stool so I can try to grab a good bite with a little bit of everything. I've got some meat in there, some of the dried fruit and chickpeas. Let's give it a try. Wow. Yeah. Oh man. That is so good. Instantly you can tell that there's more of an influence coming from uh, more of the Middle East here because the flavors aren't like we had in Punjab. They're very mild compared to that. You can definitely taste some cinnamon. It's actually leaning more on the sweet side. There's still a little bit of a spice though, and that beef is just so ridiculously tender. It kind of almost tastes like corned beef. And next up, you know I gotta go for the piece of bone marrow. I'm just gonna go for this massive chunk right here. That's probably gonna be the biggest single piece of bone marrow I've ever eaten. Look at that. Wow. Oh, man. That is just teetering on being a liquid. It is so oily, completely disintegrates in your mouth and coats all of the rice. It is such a nice subtle flavor. Actually, this is a good dish for me for breakfast because it's not too spicy. It's actually got a little bit of a sweetness and cinnamon going on there. This portion size is absolutely insane. I love those dried fruits in there and the atmosphere is also so cool. I can barely sit on the stool, it's so low. I'm basically just squatting here. Yeah. This is the ultimate epic bite. We've got beef, we've got bone marrow, we've got chickpeas, the whole shebang. Let's go. Shukriya. Mazda. Mazda. Shukriya. 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 Shukriya.
green tea is something that Peshawar is very famous for called Kawa and uh, this shop we are at right now is absolutely stunning. It's a serious hole in the wall and he's serving up this green tea and milk tea in these little green teapots that most of the shopkeepers from around this bazaar will come and get and then take back to their shop and enjoy tea for a little bit. So he's filling it up with some hot water, he adds some green tea leaves, and then he puts some cardamom in there, and then uh, he cooks it on the flame, and then your tea is served. This is such a cool setup. I've never seen something quite like it. Our teas have arrived at the table, so I have a green tea, which comes in the green pot, and then a milk tea, which comes in the brown pot. So I'm gonna go in for the green tea first. Pour in my cup. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Wow. Let's give it a try. Mmm, smell the cardamom. Wow, the cardamom tastes amazing. It's very, very sweet green tea. Mmm, that's really nice. Usually I don't prefer the sweetened tea, but here with the cardamom, it's actually a really good mix. All right, it's also time for the milk tea. Pour it in. Wow, look at that. It's actually a little bit of a film forming on top. Let's give it a try. Mm. Wow, that's mostly milk. Nice and sweet, not too much. Very milky, served nice and hot. You always have to be careful not to burn your tongue with the milk tea here. But yeah, that is, that is very nice. <laughs> that was some incredibly flavorful green tea and the people here in Peshawar so far have been so so friendly they haven't been accepting money from us we are their guests and they really do not want us paying for anything it's so friendly of them we're gonna walk around the bazaar a little bit more see what else we can find <laughs> So we actually just spotted a guy that's selling the little teapots that uh, we just tried the kawa in and we're gonna pick one up to bring back home with us. Go on. Just a short walk down the street from where we bought the teapot, we spotted the man who's selling the green tea. We bought 500 grams of green tea and he's in this really hole in the wall spot once again using this old school uh, scale to weigh out the 500 grams for us. Peshawar so far has proven to be quite a contrast to the rest of what we've seen in Pakistan. Even though we've only been to Punjab, you can definitely tell there's a different atmosphere here. There's different products for sale. And uh, I'd say the people are, are even more friendly, if that's possible, than the rest of uh, what we've experienced in Pakistan. <laughs> We just stopped to check out this stall where a man is selling this very unique thing. It's a type of wood, like a twig, and um, it's used as a type of toothbrush. So they chew it and kind of wipe it on their teeth and it gives you a teeth whitening. So it's a traditional toothbrush. There's another thing that's similar to this called neem. He's not actually specifically selling neem, but it's the same idea. It's a teeth whitening twig that you chew on and uh, it really works because he's got some pearly whites.
ہمارا عمران خان زندہ باد اور ہمارا نوے پاکستان زندہ باد اور ہمارا باجوہ اوہ اوہ زندہ باد اور ہمارا ملکہ پاکستان قوم سارا پتان زندہ باد نسار چرسی تکا زندہ باد we just popped into the most famous tikka place here in Peshawar. It's called Nisar Charsi Tikka. This is the owner, Nisar. And this is a third generation shop. He's been here for 70 years. And uh, this is his famous Charsi Tikka here. Wow, that looks good. So Nisar here really likes to chat. He's been talking to us for a while now and basically he's explaining that uh, the tikka here is kind of like an aphrodisiac. It'll give you a lot of uh, power and energy. Pakistan. <laughs> 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 This is special no, chicken. Special chicken. This is when it's when it's nice. Yeah. Okay, so there's a chicken here? This is no spicy. This is salt. This is salt. Oh, dark. 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 Charbi. Yeah. yeah Dumba. Yeah. Garam. Mardana Khwara Kaiga. He is really giving us the full tour here and uh, we're getting along really well. We've actually got a butcher shop basically built into the restaurant. They're butchering up all the different lambs and you can see that uh, right here on the back of the lamb they've got lots of fat lard. 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 And uh, he likes that. That's the, that's the aphrodisiac part. <laughs> so we're also going to check out the karahi that they've got here too. Tomato, 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 or sabaz murach, green chili, or khali namak, simple, sada, sada, wale amara patan, shower. In their karahi, they're using full tomatoes, the full thing. And uh, mutton, lots of that fat, that lard that is kind of rendering and turning into a liquid. And they're not using uh, very many masalas, if any at all. I think just salt, if I understood them correctly. And lots of uh, meat in there. And now apparently he's gonna get Sabrina to cook this karahi. Sir? Oh. <laughs> lots of tomatoes, now they're gonna put some chilies in. Make it a little spicy. Yeah. Spicy. Nice. Spicy. You need to be a little strong to do this. <laughs> they've invited me upstairs and uh, now they've got me drinking more green tea and what some I? of this uh, jaggery too. So uh, kind of not refined sugar that's just been boiled down. Uh, uh, Number one. Number one. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Lots of friendly people here. Pakistani Baba is here. Pakistani Baba. A1. A1. Good. Pakistani A1. Good. 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 Oh, it's in gift. Uh, it's in the gift. Ah, Pakistan tarab se uh, ek topa. Ah, okay. Pakistan tarab se, amara tarab se ek topa. Baba. 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 Topa. Ah, oh, shukriya, Baba. The, uh, one. Wow. Shukriya. Hey, this is the uh, topa. Oh, that ring. E ring. This just keeps getting crazier and crazier of an experience. I just went to go to the washroom and I ended up sitting with all those three babas and uh, having some tea and uh, they gifted us a little stone. So friendly, incredible. We're sitting on the charpai downstairs, these little handmade beds and just finished up meeting everyone and it's kind of unique here in Peshawar. They're 
famous, I guess you could say, for their hashish. And uh, charsi kind of means stoner. And uh, it's, I guess, a little bit of a play in words. You can definitely smell it in the air. And we're waiting for our food to arrive while we just relax. If all people come here, charsi. We sell Chelsea hey, in our man. Amara. They got you working for free. Amara never cook. We sell Chelsea in our Amara never cook. Canada. Canada. We sell Chelsea Tika Canada cook. A one. The wait is over, the Charsi Tika has arrived. This is a beautiful looking lamb chop grilled over charcoal and I don't know if they've been smoking some hash today but that took about an hour to bring to our table but that's okay because I think this is gonna be worth the wait. Let's try it. Oh man. Yum. So they're not using anything except for salt here so it's really depending on that lamb being high quality. They're butchering it on site so you know it's gonna be super fresh. And it's got the fat that's kind of melting your mouth. And then you get that nice lean lamb as well. Look at how much meat is on that chop there. And I've got a little bit of fat down on this area. I'm gonna go for another bite. Oh man, oh man. That fat is so good down there. Yum. This is just simply delicious. It is grilled to perfection. I've got a different piece here. You can see there's quite a bit of fat right there, but honestly the fat is the best part. Just completely melts in your mouth. They put quite a lot of salt on it, but there's no other spices, so it's not overpowering. You get those little crispy knobs? Oh man. Crispy knobs. Ah. Uh, right. Many banana, many cooker, we start Jersey, Sara Pakistan. You made it yourself. Me cook me. Stan okay. Milega, Canada, America, Japan. Sub China, Sub in visit Karega, Avida, Pakistan, Yate, or we start Jersey Tika Kayaga. Yeah, thank you. Shukra. Go, okay. Mazate, Maza. <laughs> right. It is time to try Peshawar's version of Karahi. So inside this, pretty simple ingredients actually some salt, some tomatoes, which has been mashed up all around and also some green chili so it might be a little spicy it's going for a bite here with the naan oh wow a lot of fat in there i think this is going to be really tasty mm. Mm. so that mutton is cooked to perfection it's pretty firm but still really nice there's a lot of fat on there and then it's just flavored with the tartness that comes from the tomato. It's really, really good. And careful not to burn yourself. Look how hot that is. You did the food, Pakistani, Chelsea, Tikka, and kebab. Yeah. What's your feeling about this food? Absolutely delicious. Totally different than any other food in Pakistan. Really nice flavors, not too spicy, just delicious. Okay, now we'll uh, ask you only simple question about you. I've been informed that we've only just reached the best part. Uh, the end, the sauce of the karahi. All that goodness with the naan. Look at that beautiful red color. Oh yeah, yum. I'm gonna clean this up. Dinner bar. Special shower. Hello? Okay. The green tea, the Pakistan special. Yeah. Yeah. So we're having another green tea this time. We're having it with yeah. the jaggery. So I've been advised to take a little piece. Oh, it's falling apart. Put it in my mouth. And then drink it without chewing. And then it just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Badam, badam, pista. Oh, and there's also badam, nuts pista, inside. gaju, a one. Yeah, it's actually quite nutty. Try one more time. Badam, khutun khwa, da karcher, karcher, badam, khutun khwa, karcher. So what actually makes this different uh, is that 
the green tea has not been sweetened. There's no sugar in it, but all the sweetness comes from this, and Pakistan, it melts away in your mouth. Awam, oh sada kam, sada. That's really good. Sada gorla, gorla. Oh no sugar. Okay. No sugar. No sugar. Just this. It's no it's sugar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pure yeah, cheese. Really good. Pure cheese. No sugar. We have just experienced the most overwhelmingly hospitable experience of my life, I think, that people here in Peshawar have just opened their arms up and welcomed us and been so, so friendly. So we can't say thank you enough to everyone here. They're known for being hospitable, but this is like another level that I've never experienced before. Wow, what an experience here in Peshawar. In my personal opinion, and I think Luke would agree, this was our best stop yet. The food has been absolutely delicious. People have been so friendly to us, very welcoming here. I love it. We've been to many, many countries, and after that experience, I can say without a doubt, that was the nicest hospitality we have ever experienced, unmatched here in Pakistan. The people are incredibly friendly. <laughs> Goda? Goda? Oh. My three to our own is Actually, right across the street from the Charsi Tika place is a very famous shop that is making Peshawari chapel, which are a special type of sandal that come from Peshawar. And actually, uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan got his shoes from here. So actually, we're gonna do a little bit more shopping. Peshawar has good food and good shopping. Oh yeah. And that's where the shoes come from. I mean, they're adjustable. So I'm getting my fitting done. This is such a cool shop. They're making the shoes handmade right in front of you as you try them on. And uh, these are really high quality leather. Oh yeah, that size feels better. Yeah. Better yeah. size. So 3,000 rupees for the chapel. And uh, I think that's a really good deal. Handmade leather. Thank you. Thank Shukriya. you so much. Handmade leather shoes. Check these out. I love them. That's it for another great day here in Pakistan. I want to say a massive thank you to Manaki for sponsoring our trip here. If you guys want to book any tours or are planning on visiting Pakistan ever, please check them out. All of the information is down in the description box. And we had such an incredible day today with them that would not have been possible without Manaki. So great thank you to them. And what was the best thing we had today, Sabrina? I loved everything, but I do have to give it up for the pulao. That was pulao. absolutely delicious. Oh, I think I have to give it up for Charsi Tika. But honestly, if I could pick one thing, that was the best today was the hospitality. Everyone was so incredible. So if you guys haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post our next video from Pakistan. And we'll see you on the next episode of Travel for Travel. Bye. Bye.